What is up guys, today is February 10th, 2016, and today I have some updates for you guys on the fire alarm parts I got from the building demolition. Um, these are all the parts you guys saw last week, from last week's video. Nothing has changed here except I cleaned up the back boxes and trim plates for these two units and I've gotten them back on um, the units, I just have to screw them in. So, that's pretty much everything with those ones, with those uh, parts I've already gotten. I do have something new to show you guys, but uh, that will not be revealed for a couple minutes here. Uh, first, I have to share with you guys some good news and some bad news. Um, let's get through the... Uh, actually, I have two pieces of good news and one piece of bad news. Let's just get the, through the bad news first. Um, the bad news is I did not get the main fire alarm control panel from the building as I had planned. Um, long story short, the contractor uh, who saved me all these parts... Um, hurt himself, not on the site, and not badly, but um, he did hurt himself and was not able to get down to the basement in time to save me the fire panel. So um, the con the building demolition uh, has been completed. It was completed on Monday, I believe, so about two days ago. Uh, they took down the last section of the building, so um, they knocked down all three floors of the building to the ground, and then the basement, they've dropped a bobcat down there and basically tore the basement to shreds. And that included the fire panel. So uh, the fire panel is crushed and it is obviously uh, not salvageable anymore and there's no access to the basement. So it's just a huge hole in the ground now and they still have to take down the foundation walls for the basement. But that's about it with that. So, um, but basically, like I said, I cannot blame the contractor for this job. Um, he's a super nice guy. And uh, he spent a lot of extra time he did not have to spend pulling all these parts for me. So uh, definitely a big thanks to him since he uh, spent a lot of extra time on the site. He did not have to saving all these parts for me. Um, so with that being said, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the new part I got here that he was able to save me. Like I said, even though he didn't save me the main panel... I already told you guys that he was able to pull the remote enunciator panel from the lobby. So here it is. You guys saw this uh, in the pictures on my phone the last time. Uh, and the contractor took pictures for me as he was pulling this panel. Now, um, he spent a great deal of time pulling this thing too. Just like um, these devices, he spent uh, a super long time pulling this panel for me. Um, now, the last time I was there uh, at the building uh, was pretty much two weeks ago and that was when the demolition had kind of just begun and this panel was still uh, flush mounted to the wall in the lobby and uh, th that was the day he got me he gave me all these parts all those parts and that was the day the contractor and I got the elevator panel out together um, but basically we tried to pull this panel um, two weeks ago and um, not only did the four screws in the corners have to come out, which we tried to get out, um, not only did those have to come out, but pretty much it took half an hour of pounding on the, the bricks to get this thing out of the wall. So the contractor spent half an hour pounding on the bricks with a hammer to get this thing out for me, which was super nice of him. Just goes to show, um, you guys already saw I got these parts, just goes to show what an awesome guy he is. Um... And he uh, did care that I got this panel and the basement panel too. But um, that, that'll be the second piece of good news I'll share with you guys in a minute. But here's the uh, remote enunciator panel from the lobby. And this is a really old simplex panel. And uh, basically, uh, let's go ahead and show you guys inside it super quick. Okay, sorry for the break. Let's go ahead and uh, show you guys the inside of the panel. Let's open this baby up. So I'm going to have to lean it down here just to get it to stand up on its own. This is the inside of the remote enunciator panel from the lobby of the building. And uh, that's the back of it there. And that's the, uh, the back of the door. Now um, these terminal strips here are for the wires. The, the wires coming into these terminal strips come off all the electronic devices on the door. Um, and... Uh, I'm not going to test the panel tonight. I've uh, wired it up before, though, and you guys will be seeing a, a test of it uh, pretty soon here, just not tonight. So there's the wiring. 
This is a Simplex model 4305-B annunciator panel, and um, I have never seen this model before. Um, and it's actually from 1981, which is weird considering the building was built in 1989. The sticker says 81 on it. Um, and, uh, you know, my best guess would be that this was used with a 2001 panel. Although I, I believe Simplex also made some panels in the 4600 and the 4800 series. I'll have to find the model numbers of those panels and it could have also been one of those systems. So it could have been a majority of different systems uh, this panel could have been used on. But uh, I suppose we'll, we'll never know for sure because the uh, the panel was crushed. So, um, but basically, there's all the wires coming in from all the electronics on the door. Um, these are all incandescent bulbs for the uh, zones. Down here, we've got uh, two incandescent bulbs for the trouble light. We got a uh, piezo beeper. And we got an, a Demco push button the reset key switch, and uh, a relay, which I will show you guys what it's for in a few minutes, which is pretty neat. And then I suppose if you wanted to have more zones behind here, you could. That was for extra zones, I'm sure. Um, and th this isn't a Demco push button. I'm sure of that because this uh, this is just a manual for the push button, which, is, uh, which was floating around inside here. So with that being said, there's your inside view of the panel. Um, and as I said, it was flush mounted to bricks. So this is all you saw of the panel right here. You didn't actually see the back box. So let's go ahead and lean it back up against the wall and close her up to show you guys the front, explain what some of that stuff does. As I said, the lock takes the simplex B key, as you would expect. Um, so as I was just saying before, there's 16 incandescent bulbs behind here, one for each zone, and these will come on if there's a fire in that zone. Um, down here is the trouble area, as I said, and, um, now, th this whole thing is pretty cool. Now, first of all, the reset switch takes the simplex C key, as I call it, um, since, uh, we all know the B key, and there, there was a, uh, simplex A key, too, but this is the simplex, as I like to call it, C key, and, uh, put it in and it says reset below it I'm not exactly sure what this switch once did on the on the panel however I, I cannot find the, the terminals back there for this switch but uh, I'm probably just not going to use it but you put the key in turn it it clicks and there's that now here you got that trouble silence button and this whole thing is pretty cool um, when power is applied to the, uh, the bulbs behind here and the piezo, which are tied together, uh, when you apply power to those devices and you press the trouble silence button, what happens is the piezo is uh, silenced and the trouble lights stay on. Now, that's not done by the main control panel. It's done by the relay back here. When you press the button, um, it, it causes that relay to click and it turns off the piezo buzzer, or the piezo beeper, actually, and um, the trouble light just stays on. Um, so it's pretty cool that it doesn't do that on the main control panel. Uh, that you don't, have to, you don't have to have the panel to do that. It's all done by that relay there. And then as soon as power is taken off, um, it clicks and it goes back to normal. And then if the system were to develop a new trouble, that piezo would come back on until this button was pressed. The relay clicks, the piezo turns off, and so on. So... It's a pretty neat feature about this panel is that it can do that by itself without having a, a control panel to silence the piezo. Um, it's just that that relay behind there. So, um, and here's the uh, sticker for the uh, service company that was uh, that serviced the system at one point. To be honest, I don't even know if this company still even exists. Probably not. That uh, sticker looks pretty old, but. Oak Fire and Security Systems Incorporated. That was uh, the company that I guess maintained the system at one point. And um, I like that there, the the leaves and the acorns. It's a pretty cool logo there. But um, I'll have to look them up, see if they still even uh, exist because the the sticker appears to be from this, the 70s or the 80s. So we'll just have to see if they're even still in business. Um so anyway, there's the uh, there's that panel, uh, super nice panel. Uh, like I said, it was so awesome for the contractor to save it for me. It's a, it's a great uh, addition to my collection, 
And now I have two enunciator panels. I got this one and I got the Cerberus Powertronics one that came out of my dad's building in 2013. So I got two of these now and I'm not sure what I'll do with both of these. You know, I'm, I'm sure I'll keep them both. I'm just going to have to find space for both of them as soon as I get a new control panel in here. So that was the first piece of good news is that I got the remote enunciator panel. Um, the second piece of good news, which I have to share with you guys, is that despite the fact the contractor was not able to save me the main control panel from the building, he was super sorry that he was not able to to save it, which is uh, fine. But um, he told me to make up for that. He told me to give him a, a list of uh, popular, or uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm saying tonight. He told me to give him a list of panels that um, I'm interested in, and he knows people who uh, probably have these panels sitting around all over the place, and he said to give him the list, and he will uh, talk to those people and see if they can track down a panel for me, which is uh, super awesome. So despite not being able to get the main control panel from this building, he is going to con uh, he is going to track down a uh, new panel for me. So I uh, the, the list I gave him, like like I said, I prefer a simplex panel. I um, so I gave him a uh, huge list, not a huge list, just basically a simplex 4001, 4002, 4004, uh, 4005, 4006, 4008, 4010, any, any of those will work fine. Um, I just uh, said if uh, you can get me one of those panels, that'd be great. And um, he said he would. He said he tracked down one of those panels. So that's pretty awesome. So um, even though, like I said, even though I didn't get the panel from the building, I'll get I, I got the next best thing here, and I will, will be getting a new control panel, hopefully pretty soon here. So thank you guys for watching tonight, and that'll be it.